Well, it's in, you know, it's not permissible for me to get specific. Um, you know, I think the big thing here is, as the dust settles, you know, our focus is preparing our team, uh, the group of players that have joined our team. I wish we could get into the specifics, but we're not allowed to. You know, I think reality is the current structure of NIL, um, with third parties being involved, um, with agents being involved, um, with marketing representatives, with lawyers, with collectives, um, very fluid, right? And I think a very unique dynamic. I think we're living in a time in college athletics uh, that we'll look back upon. So, um, but I think ultimately NIL is a strength for the Gators. Uh, I'm very pleased with where we're at relative to our current players, all athletes, uh, and what we've been able to get accomplished in a short amount of time. Why, can you elaborate on what you just said on, on NIL as a strength? Because it would be easy for the public perception to, to look at the headlines and what happened and say, I mean, just to be blunt, Florida's got an issue not living up to their deals. So uh, elaborate on what you just said, please. Well, I mean, I, I think I can only speak about um, our current team, right? our focus being on our current team, uh, the current athletes that we have, not only in football, but a lot of our other sports have benefited. So, you know, we've got a ton of streaks in that area. You know, we've got, we live in a state with 21 million people. Uh, we've got half a million living alumni. We're surrounded by huge markets. Uh, and I think our players are benefiting from that. Billy, how frustrated are you though with like the fact NIL has become pay for play? I mean, in Destin, you said we don't operate that way. And yet you've been kind of pulled into the, this national headline that this perception of the problem now. It's not very positive with surrounding NIL. Well, I think you, you know, you spend, you know, your entire entire life and entire career trying to establish who you are and how you operate. And I think ultimately, I can lay my head down at night based off of that. So, time will tell, you know. And ultimately, I think uh, the good thing here is I've got a lot of confidence about our leadership the strategy um, that we're employing, how it's benefited our team the group of players that we have on our team. Um, and I think we're, we're going about it the right way. Well, are you frustrated though by, by this last six weeks? Well, I think every college football coach in America would tell you they're frustrated. You know, I mean, we're, we're living in a fluid dynamic, right? Um, you know, we essentially, there's a lot of good things about NIL, but I think the combination of the NIL and the portal creates a dynamic. You've got all the uh, bad things about the NFL, but none of the good things. So, um, you know, we're all aware of the issues of the, of the parameters we're competing in at this point, right? So, this will all, um, I think as time goes, the market will settle down.